Hello everyone and welcome back to Mount Moon TCG. Today's video I'm going to be opening uh, a new era in the Pokemon trading card game and that is a pre-release build and battle kit for the brand new Pokemon trading card game expansion Scarlet and Violet. Yes the wait um, is almost over guys. Uh, Scarlet and Violet is almost out ready to be sold in stores. But until then, we're going to celebrate with a little bit of pre-release opening. And then later, Chris and I, after we've done our openings, we're going to be having a battle with our decks that we build with the pre-release kits. Um, that is what we do for most pre-releases. Uh, if you've been a fan of this channel for a while, uh, you know I have a little streak going on, so I need to keep that streak. So hopefully we'll see if this... Uh, build and battle kit can provide me with a deck to beat Chris because that's my number one goal got to beat Chris All right, so Let's get on with the opening So in here is a 40 card deck. There is four packs in here. I believe and also there's three packs So if you go to a pre-release um, Tournament you will get the kit with the four packs inside. That's what you will use to build your deck and then when you're done with the tournament, you get a few more packs at the end. So we're not going to worry about the packs right now. We will open them later. We're going to open the kit right now. See what cool things uh, await us in the Scarlet and Violet set. Ooh, I'm so excited, guys. I've been waiting for this set to come out, and I'm finally about to open my first official product of this set. Now there's, I'm um, trying to think what the promos are for Scarlet and Violet pre-releases. I know there's a Pommy, there is a Rever Room, Halucha, and there's something else. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Uh, I'm hoping for Rever Room, but let's see what we got. Oh, we got Halucha. All right, that's pretty cool. We'll go to the Halucha in a little bit. We're gonna take those packs out, move them to the side. Toss the box, made a loud noise. In every pre-release kit, before we get to opening this, um, there's just a little pamphlet here that gives you the Scarlet and Violet card list, which is pretty cool. So you can check mark all the cool cards you have. So I have a Halucha, Halucha, right there. I have Halucha. All right, so if you wanna do that, pretty cool, up to you. And then it just gives you building tips Begin a new adventure with Pokemon EX. Well, I mean, Pokemon EX have been around for a while, but I mean, you know, back in the old days and in the black and white days. Okay, moving on. So we got the Halucha here. Now you'll notice with these new Scarlet and Violet cards, there's the silver border. Um, there's also a little different in the corner here. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. I might actually take this out of the package here just to show you guys a little bit better. You know, I can't open things. So we're just gonna take a pen. Good, it didn't explode of ink. So we can, so we can open this up. I have no fingernails. So that is uh, unfortunate. Drawback to not having fingernails. You can't open packages. Okay, let's get the little pieces out here into the garbage. Okay, now we can look at this a little bit better. I'm not going to reveal what's next, but so you got the nice silver border, not like the old Pokemon cards. Let's see if I can bring one up here pretty quickly just to show you guys some differences. I got a bird keeper here. So you see the bird keeper has the Hopefully the lighting works here. I know I got this uh, light a little bit too close to the um, to the camera here, but Bird Keeper's got the yellow border on it, as you can see. Halucha's got the silver border. And then if you look in the in the lower left corner, uh, you still see you got the the letter. So Halucha's a G. And then instead of a set, um, the little logo for the set, and uh, now they got uh, S V P which is, stands for Scarlet and Violet Promo. So that's kind of a little bit difference uh, between the old cards and the new cards, because they want the new cards to be kind of more like the Japanese 
kind of style cards. And that's kind of what Japan does. Uh, there's also different rarities. There's like double rare, triple rare, you know, mega awesome, super mega fudgy, cool rare. They're, they add like four or five new rares. Um, I know Chris talked about that in the last video uh, when he did his opening. So if you want to go watch that, and you should, um, I'm sure he'll put that in the description. Or you can just go find it. All right. So we got Halucha. You know, I put it down and I didn't even mention the ability, guys. Halucha's got this neat ability called Flying Entry. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, during your turn you may choose two of your opponent's bench Pokemon and put one damage counter on each of them. So this sounds a lot like Galarian Zigzagoon, where you put it on the bench and you just use the ability to ping something on your opponent's side of the field for one damage counter. Halucha doubles that. The attack 200 for 70. Nah, not good. Not that good. All right, so Halucha will stay right there, and we will see what is in our little thing. Oh, that's pretty neat. Ooh, they give you a card. I'll look at that later. So let's see what else we got in here. So we got basic energy. Uh, we got yep. The, the silver border goes along the line up for the um, for all new cards now. So it's kind of pretty neat with the. Silver border, unlike the, I know we talk, just talked about this, the yellow energy. And for basic energy now, it does say basic energy on there. So that's kind of a little bit of a difference too. It says basic energy, basic water energy. Okay, so that's pretty neat. All right, so we got a bunch of water energy. A few of them, what do we got? Eight, like nine, 10. Something like that. And we got basic grass energy. Pretty cool. You know, I might switch over from the um, the E-Reader energies to these ones. Because these ones are kind of cool, actually. That is really neat. But uh, we got a few basic grass energy. All right. All right. So we're going to have E. Uh, what's it called? What is that bird starter called? Well, Quaxley, but what's the final evolution? Wow, I'm actually drawing a blank here. We'll uh, see it when we go further into the deck. So we got ourselves a Quaxley. We got Scatterbug with the ability Adaptive Evolution. This Pokemon can evolve during your first turn or the turn you play it. And then a Spoopa with more Adaptive Evolution. There's Quaxwell. There's Vivian. Vervi or Vervillian. How do you pronounce that? Vivillian? It's Vivillian. I don't know. Um, let's see, for one grass energy, it does 50. For the coin of heads, choose a special condition. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now affected by that special condition. And then two for 110. Oh, Quaquaval. Quaquaval? Quaquaval? It's the dancing bird dude. Uh, energy Carnival. Once during your turn, you may attach a basic energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Okay. That's pretty neat. Um, it's not quite as good as, you know... Deluge Blastoise back in the day, Rain Dance Blastoise, whatever, where you can attach as many energy as you wanted. Uh, but once per turn, uh, we'll take it. If you get two of these in play, you can attach two, so that's pretty neat. Uh, youngster, shuffle your hand into your deck, draw seven cards. Uh, it's not seven, not seven, five cards. I cannot talk today. Uh, basically, Shauna, Jacques, search your deck for up to two evolution Pokemon, reveal them, put them into your hand, shuffle your deck. Okay, replaces the Evolution Incense that's going to be rotating here in a little bit. All right, we got Mesa Goza, a stadium card. Now, if you notice, too, for, for these uh, trainer cards now, uh, they now put Supporter in the corner here. And I heard that that's because when you, like, hold your hand, when you have your cards in your hand, like, I'll try to... Not spoil the rest of the video, but when you have cards like that, it shows you what you have in the corner. You have a stadium, supporter, whatever, whereas the old cards, let me grab Bird Keeper here, uh, it just said Trainer. So if you have, you know, a couple of cards in your hand like that, uh, I can't tell what that is. I, I just know it's a Trainer. I mean, obviously it's a Bird Keeper, because I've played a lot of Bird Keeper in my time, but it's just nice to look in the corner and see, oh, there's that... Uh, that red S for a supporter card. I must have a supporter in my hand. Or the, the green S for stadium. So that is really cool. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. 
<coughs> wow. Okay. We got Youngster. We got Jacques. We got Mesa Goza. Let's see what that does. Mesa Goza. Once during each player's turn, that player may flip a coin. If heads, that player searches their deck for a Pokemon, reveals it, and put it into their hand. Then that player shuffles their deck. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a Pokeball. That you can it's a free Pokeball each turn. So that's kind of kind of neat. So then we got more of our Quaxley, more of our Scatterbugs, our Spoopas. Hey, here's Professor Research. Discard your hand, draw seven cards. Pretty cool. Uh, I think I'm gonna be playing my um my Professor Juniper version of Professor's Research. Or maybe my Professor Oak version. I don't know. Um, but Professor Sada, pretty cool. Ooh, we got Ultra Ball. Nice. Uh, I do. I think there are, before I get too far, I think there are two different professors' researches. I think there's Professor Sada and the Violet uh, Professor. I don't know what his name is. Um, I think there are two different researches, but they do the same thing. Uh, Ultra Ball. You can only you can only use this card if you discard two other cards from your hand. Search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. Cool. We got Bruxious. 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 Try saying that five times fast. Bruxious. 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 I cannot pronounce things today. I'm sorry. Uh, for one energy, vivid charge. Search your deck for up to three basic energy cards. Reveal them. Put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck. Neato. And two for sixty. Not bad. And speaking of Pokeball, we have Pokeball. Which I said, flip a coin of head, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, put into your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. They put everything in a different order here, which is kind of... It, it hurts me. It hurts me a little bit, because, um... Oh, we got Nest Ball. Cool. Um, I just like everything in order, because I think the old uh, pre-release kits did that, where they put everything in order. Uh, Nest Ball, search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it into your bench. Uh, shuffle your deck. Yeah, this is the replacement for Quick Ball. Uh, Quick Ball was discard a card, search a deck for a basic, put it into your hand. Uh, this is... I mean, this is still good. I just wish it would go into your hand, but it goes automatically on the bench. So if you have a full bench, you can... I don't think you can play this card. If you have a full bench, you cannot play this card. I think that's how it goes. But Nest Ball is an old card from the Sun and Moon era. It's been reprinted. It's come back. Welcome back to the format, Nest Ball. So that's what we got. We got a Water and Grass deck, which is weird that Halucha is the promo. Um, either somebody messed up or, you know, something. And then the other card you got is just trainer's tips about how to play the deck. Quavacal, Quaquavel. I don't know how you pronounce things, guys. I'm a Pokemon master, and I'm supposed to know this stuff, but, um, you know, I'm learning. And it's got uh, Vavillian. That's pretty good. You got Maridon on the back here. That's neat. That's Maridon, right? I think. Yeah, Maridon is the, the Violet. Um, legendary. Whatever. Right? I think it's Maridon. Well, I'm, get, I'm getting confused. Uh, we're now going to open these awesome packs. So we got the four from the actual um, uh, pre-release box. And then we got the three that you get at the end. So let's open the ones from the box first. Let's start with this one. So cute. The three starters on the front. Sprigatito, Coco, and Quaxley. What did you guys pick for your starter? Let us know in the comment section down below. Uh, I went with Coco because... Um, Cute little crocodile. I was going to go with Sprigatito. Um, for a bit, I was on Sprigatito train, but then everyone else was like, oh, I'm on Sprigatito, I'm on Sprigatito. And I'm like, eh, fine, I'll go to Free Coco, whatever. So, we got to do this right. So now it's one card now, I believe. And this is the energy card. Yep, there we go. We got our basic lightning energy. Uh, we got a Primeape. We got a Pommy. We got Tarantula. Tarantula. Riolu. EXP share. Nice. Um, we're going to talk about another change while we're here with the Scarlet and Violet set, guys. So Pokemon tools are their own thing now. They are no longer item cards. 
So if you're going to play something like an, an, an Arita, Arita, you know, that thing that searches for an item card and a water Pokemon, uh, you cannot get EXP share. You cannot get choice belts because I think they're going to errata all Pokemon tools to just be Pokemon tools, no longer item cards. So that is a very new distinction. It is still a trainer card. It is still a trainer card, but it is just a Pokemon tool card. Kind of like Supporter. Supporter is its own thing. Pokemon tools are now their own thing. Uh, EXP share, when your active Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, you may move a basic energy from that Pokemon to the Pokemon this card is attached to. Very cool. Uh, Toad's Cruel, not too excited about Toad's Cruel, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, we got a Cyclozar. Ooh, we got a Miriam. This is really neat. Uh, they did change the, uh, the foiling on these cards. I don't know if you can see it, but with her you see the Pokeballs and like the kind of... I'm trying to see if I can get the camera here. It looks like it right there. The kind of the, the circle right there with the Pokeball in the middle. That is just so cool. Uh, Miriam, a new supporter card. I think it's going to be pretty good. Uh, shuffle up to five Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. If you shuffled any cards into your deck in this way, draw three cards. So this is very similar to Brock's Grit. But I think that was, you can do Pokemon and Energy. I'm not 100% sure. But you didn't draw three cards. So this, pretty good. And then our last card is... Dun, 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 dun. Hey, <laughs> we started the pack with Primeape. We're going to end with a Primeape. Oh no! <laughs> that was another one! I thought that was the last card. My bad. <laughs> and then there's that. I thought Primeape was the, was the last card. <laughs> that is awesome. We got a full art Miriam. <laughs> I just got done with work, guys. And, um, yeah. <laughs> That's my excuse. And it's the weekend, so my brain is officially turned off. But that is really cool. Not only did we get two Primeapes, we got two Miriams. That is awesome. This is a cool full art, guys. That is awesome. First pack, we get a full art Miriam. Get a full art supporter. This is going right away into a sleeve. That is super cool. Man, look at that. All right, so that is... So maybe not that version is going to go into my deck. I'm thinking that one's going to go into the deck, but... um. Yeah, that's pretty good. You know why I thought the Primate was the last card was because the Miriam was had the foiling on it. That's why. And then I saw the Primate and went, oh, okay, neat. That's the last card. That's why I didn't think about the Miriam. Actually, let me count. That, that wasn't an extra card, was it? Let me just... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That was the 11th card. Did we just get an error pack? Maybe, maybe I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That might have been an error pack. Because that's 11 cards. Yeah, because on the pack it says 10 additional game cards. 10 additional game? Yeah, 10 additional game cards. I'm not joking. That's I think that says 10 if you can see it. Yeah, so we might have just had an air pack there, guys. So, yeah. Um, so I don't think you can blame me for not thinking that there was anything behind the Prime Ape. You know what? Lucky me. I will take that 100% of the time. Uh, just hope that somebody else didn't get, you know, um, duped out of a card. Because that would make me feel bad if I got that person's extra card. Um, but, you know, that happens sometimes with... Um, new, new packs of cards. Sometimes you get error packs. That just happens. Okay. We're going to move on to the next pack. This might be a long video. I'm looking at the time right now and I'm like, oh, this is getting kind of long, Hunter. You should probably, you know, stop talking. And I will stop talking. Back to the front. And let's see if we have uh, 10 cards in this one. So we got basic. I like the basic battle. 
with the gray background. That's really cool. I've got Flittle, Shroomish, Mankey for all those prime apes, Char Cadet, Breloom, Kilowattrel, two energy skill dive, does 50 to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Okay. And then for three energy, 140, discard a lightning energy from this Pokemon. Meh. Okay. Maybe. We got Greedent. Everybody loves Greedent. We got Blissey. Okay. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So this is the Blissey. So after this should be the last card in the pack, right? So we got Blissey. That, that's kind of cool, but it's kind of hard to read too for the camera. But the foiling is really cool. Uh, the ability is called Busy Body Nurse. Once during your turn, you may use this ability. Your active Pokemon recovers from all special conditions. Okay. Uh, for three energy, Happy Cyclone, 150. A move all energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. Okay, that's neat. If you look on the bottom, too, looks like there's some rainbow. Um, even on the side here, too. Kind of see there's a green, there's the red, the blue, the yellow. That's really neat. Man, they spared no expense for these cards. I hope you guys can see that. Because that can be really hard for the camera sometimes. But that is really cool. And our next card is... We got a Varoom, guys. We got... Is there no, There's another card under here. So maybe there's 11 cards in each pack? Or maybe they don't count the basic energy. But, okay, we got Varoom. I just wish we had the River Room. And our last card is... Ooh, we got a Clef Key. Oh, I'm excited for Clef Key, guys. This is a good card. The ability is called Mischievous Lock. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, basic Pokemon in play, both yours and your opponents, have no abilities except for Mischievous Lock. This is what Empoleon V should have been. This is what Empoleon V's ability should have been from the start. And they knew that. They screwed it up. So they gave it to a Klefki. Which is cool. I'm fine with that being on a Klefki. After one energy, joust, 10 damage. Before doing damage, discard all Pokemon tools from your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, neat. All right, I like the Klefki. The Klefki is gonna go over here. Bam, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's the ten. The Clef Key was the eleventh card. I don't know. You know, guys, I don't know. I'm just going to say that there's eleven cards in every pack. And if there's not, uh, it's been really good for me. Uh, move on to pack number three. We really got to get this video moving. I'm getting close to uh, getting close to uh, some time here. course this is why we're here we're here to see the new cards from scarlet and violet guys this is so awesome <clears throat> this is so awesome guys i'm glad you're here with us uh celebrating this momentous occasion brand new set of pokemon cards brand new era of pokemon cards this is really cool thank you guys for watching make sure you hit that like button share and subscribe and even comment down below but i told you guys to comment your favorite your favorite starter from this generation so we got basic grass energy magneton Clawlitzer, Graveyard, Mastiff, Vitality Band. What does Vitality Band do? Well, I'll tell you. The attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So similar to Choice Belts, but instead of doing 30, it does 10. But you can do it to any Pokemon. It doesn't have to be a V or, G or EX. You can do it to, you know, a little Mastiff here. Do 10 more damage to that little buddy. All right, Toxtricity. Um, for two energy, yank away. Choose two random cards from your opponent's hand. Your opponent reveals those cards, shuffles them into the deck. Okay, that's all right. We got Mouse Hold. Uh, does 70 damage for each of your Mouse Hold in play. Okay. We got our Waddle. So that can go with the other um, thing that we had earlier that evolves from Waddle. We got a Starly and cool the rainbow pattern, so that is really neat. So I think there is one more card under here. There is one more card under here. Let's see what it is. <laughs> we got another Halucha. Wow. Okay. So this is pretty neat. Uh, 
Hmm. So I wonder, does each pack now... Cause we got, we got to figure this out. Because does each pack come with two reverses and then a hollow? It must. I mean, if it does, I mean, uh, that works for me. I'm not going to, you know me, I'm not going to complain about an extra card in my pack. That's just the way I am. No complaining about extra cards. Let's see, come on, dark energy. Ah, water. Okay. Thought I could guess it here. Should probably clean the last pack up here. Cleaning up. Okay. Yeah, basic water. Uh, Cap's a kid. Potion's back, everybody. So if you're worried about potion rotating, it's back. Uh, weasel. Energy retrieval. Nice. Love me some energy retrieval. We got Crocodile. Chom Chom Bite for 50 for one energy. Flip a coin until you get tails for each heads. Discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay. For two energy, 180. Uh, the attack does 30 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. Ugh. Okay. Flamigo. Fortress. Slow bro with strange behavior. And now, if you like during your turn, you may move one damage counter from one of your other Pokemon to this Pokemon. Okay. This could be really good for a... I'm trying to think. This could be good for like a healing deck kind of move... Damage counters to Slowbro until it has 90 uh, damage on it. As often as you like during your turn, you may move one damage counter from one of your other Pokemon to this Pokemon. Yeah. Put 90 on it and then use something like a Cheryl or something to heal it. Or does Cheryl only heal evolved Vs? No, it might be all evolved Pokemon. I'm sure there's a way to heal Slowbro. I'm sure there's a way to do it. Electric Generator, guys. This is a very good card, too. Look at the top five cards of your deck and attach up to two basic lightning energy cards you find there to your benched lightning Pokemon in any way you like. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. Very similar to, I think it was Max Elixir, but I think as you look at the top six, choose one um, energy card you find there and attach it to a benched Pokemon. I think that's how it worked. And there is another card under here, and that card is... Yes, we got ourselves an Oinkalone EX, our first EX pull. Now, I don't know if you can see, but there are stars on the Oinkalone. I think that's how you pronounce it, Oinkalone. Oinkalone EX, pretty cool. Now, if we have a Lechonk, I don't know if we pulled a Lechonk, but we can maybe play this. Um, That was really cool. Uh, for a colorless energy, for it does... 10 plus. The attack does 30 more damage for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Uh, yeah. If your opponent has a full bench, which is 5 Pokemon, so 5 times 30 is 150. I'm doing my math right, right? 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. Yeah, I'm doing my math right. 150 plus the 10, 160. Choice, Bells, Vitality, Band, you can add more. So that is really awesome, guys. We're going to put the Oink alone in a sleeve. Uh, hopefully we pulled a, um, a Lechonk. We might have. I don't know if we did or not. I hope we did now. We got three packs left, guys. Three more packs. Okay. And uh, let's go with Fire. Okay, we got Psychic. You know, I should really make a habit of cleaning the cards up. I'm putting them into the pile of cards, but you know, I forget to do that sometimes. Uh, we got a Psychic Energy. We got Skidoo. Quaxley. Hey, that works for our deck. Squovit. I know I pulled the Greedent earlier, so maybe we can play Greedent. Uh, but Squovit has a neat ability called Net Nest Stash. Once during a turn, you may shuffle your hand and put it on the bottom of your deck. If you put any cards on the bottom of your deck in this way, draw a card. So it's, my hand is terrible, time to draw a card. I mean, it could be neat. I mean, if you have no cards in your hand, I mean, that works. I mean, yeah, could be neat. And it can stay on the bench, yeah, once during your turn, you may shuffle your hand and put it on the bottom of your deck. Yeah, you can just sit on the bench and do and do that. Uh, Shark Cadet. It's a Titan. Flaffy. 
youngster. We have a shroomish. He looks mad shroomish. We got a Fido. Pretty neat Fido. And we do have another card in here. And we got we got a full art jock. How cool is that? We got two full art cards. That is really cool, guys. A full art jock. Wow. We are just pulling the uh we're just doing well we're doing pretty darn well i'm really happy with this um if this is how all my pulls go for scarlet and violet i'm gonna buy like twenty thousand booster boxes not really because i don't have twenty thousand times a hundred and some odd dollars and that's a lot of money like i'm, I'm no <laughs> but i mean if each box gives me you know something if each pack gives me something really positive i mean I'm definitely going to buy a lot more packs. Maybe this is how I build my decks now. I'm still hoping for a Maridon or something, or a Gardevoir EX. That'd be really cool. Uh, we got Basic Fighting. Uh, Toad's Cruel. Sandile. Houndu. We got Fido. We've got another Ultra Ball. Pretty cool. I'll take another Ultra Ball. Espathra. Hmm. Defending Pokemon can't retreat for the first attack, and the second attack, 30 plus, 50 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay. We got Arvin here. Arvin is search your deck for an item card and a Pokemon tool card. Reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Okay. You can grab an Ultra Ball and then grab the, um, well, any tool card that we talked about. And remember, you can't grab two tool cards because, like I said earlier, a tool card is now a tool card. It's not an item card. Even the old choice belts and stuff like that, I think, are still going to be considered. Um, we did pull them right on, so that's cool. Um, the old tool cards would be considered just tools, 